Let's take a look at some information in charts on Binance for Revenue Coin. So Binance is an exchange. Binance Coin BNB is one of the first true utility tokens, in my opinion, where you could actually use the token for a discount in trading fees, amongst other things. Binance built a pretty significant walled garden with an actual use case for their token. I haven't used BNB much myself, but I can understand its popularity, certainly. Now, they're pretty much involved in everything. This is an old list. This has changed since whenever this was put out, but tons of supported fiat currencies, tons of stuff and things, anything you could imagine. Loans, OTC, P2P, AMM, staking, NFTs. If it's crypto, they have it. Now they've been under increasing regulatory scrutiny over the past couple months, and they announced uh, recently enhanced KYC requirements. Every country is just going down the line saying, should we go after Binance? And the answer is almost always yes. <laughs> when you look at terrorist financing, a lot of it flows through Binance, which is a huge problem for them from a regulatory perspective. This isn't like a surprise. Um, you can look at the chain analytics for this. It's readily available. So they're going to have to clean up their act uh, in order to win some favor with the regulators here because they do not have the regulators on their side. And if we look at uh, Binance Smart Chain specifically, where you can use BNB, there's just so much stuff here, most of which I've never heard of. Yield farming, oracles, insurance, um, lending, derivatives, stable coins. They have their own stable coin, by the way. I feel like most people watching this already know all this information, but it's just worth pointing out how massive this stuff is. Most of it's probably just a giant nothing burger as far as the individual projects. Many of these may not turn out to be anything down the line, but they're involved in the ecosystem in some way for Binance Smart Chain. If we look at TVL on Binance Smart Chain relative to everything else, it is number two behind ETH, at least as of September 17th. You can look at more updated numbers on DeFi Llama. By the way, this Coin98 Analytics uh, guy or gal, excellent infographics. Go give them a follow on Twitter. But Binance will continue to give ETH a run for its money so long as ETH it, transaction fees are prohibitively expensive for many people. You can't do a lot of stuff that you can do on BSC on ETH because of the transaction fees. So that's where the money's going to flow as far as the retail transactions. In the DEX daily active users, this is just updated a few days ago. Uh, PancakeSwap, the Binance DEX or BSC DEX, is way above everything else. Uni, Sushi, ZRX, based on number of active users. So that's also hard to ignore. Again, not something I would ever use personally, but I can understand why people do. Here's the smart chain or the um, NFT stuff. Uh, this is way beyond me at this point, but there is no shortage of interesting things happening in the NFT <laughs> realm on uh, Binance Smart Chain. You know, so if if you want to get involved in anything crypto, Binance has it for you. And that is part of the puzzle is building something that people want to play with or giving people a sandbox to build things that people want to build. You know, that's what this is all about. And they've definitely succeeded in that front. BNB also has a burning mechanism. They just released, uh, or they haven't released Q3 yet. The Q2 numbers are second largest ever. I doubt Q3 is going to be on par with the Q2 numbers. Q4 is probably going to be a bit much bigger burn if we are bullish. The difficult stuff with the burn is if there's less trading activity because everybody around the world is getting kicked off Binance for regulatory reasons, including China, then that's going to hurt the total profit column, which is going to decrease the burn column, which is probably going to decrease the price column. So these all kind of play into each other. Uh, just to look at that in chart form, they burned 595 million in BNB tokens in Q1, 393 Q2, probably, I, if I had to guess, probably less than 400 in Q3, and that may pick up again in Q4. If you look at the daily transaction counts for BSC, and I'm talking about BSC more than just the exchange or the volume on, on Binance or anything like that, because I think BSC seems to be driving, or did drive anyway, the, the rise in BNB token price. Um, transactions are curling up though, per day. They, got, they hit a um, higher low here. So it doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look super bullish, but it doesn't look terrible. Uh, pending transactions, basically flat. They had some issues when they got super popular because ETH was so expensive. Uh, they had some issues dealing with their own chain in the pending transaction front, but that seems to have quieted down significantly. And unique addresses continue to rise up. 
Um, one thing with BSC is it's, you know, it's hard to say, hard to measure exactly how centralized it is. Is it just one broom closet with servers in um, Binance, wherever they're located in the world? Or is it multiple people, individuals, entities around the world to centralized interests, that sort of thing? I think it's more leaning towards the broom closet, five laptops sort of situation, but I could be wrong. You know, I don't have evidence of that. <laughs> you can always look at the the validators, but I think ultimately Binance, the company controls the chain. I don't think it's independent whatsoever. So that's something to obviously pay attention to if you're sending significant amounts of capital there. Binance coin on Google Trends spiked to all-time highs with all-time highs in price. No shocker there. Google Trends have since dialed back significantly. And if if BNB is bullish into Q4, or if trading picks up into Q4, uh, I'd expect this to curl up into Q4. Or if some significant regulatory event happens into Q4, I'd expect this to tick up. You know, if, if BNB, the token, gets delisted from Binance US, which it probably will eventually because it's a security, then that's going to have a significant impact on price, right? If you If you take all these pieces of the puzzle out of volume and liquidity for the token, the token price suffers. Fewer and fewer people can trade it, access it, buy and hold it, play around in the ecosystem, that sort of thing. Flipping gears to technicals, this is the 365 MA in the green here, the multiplier in the red 5X, and the white is the midline, so 2.5X, the green line here. How this works is it's an oscillator. So you wanna be buying in the green zone, selling in the red zone. Currently, it's sort of in between the midline and the green zone. It's not screaming buy. It's definitely not screaming sell. This is saying buy anything below 250, sell anything above 1300. For me, there isn't enough directionality here to suggest either price. I just think it's, you know, it's done a bunch of nothing since, since April, March, right? You could say, you could argue that this is a flag pennant, something uh, that very likely has a bullish bias here, equilateral triangle, whatever you want to call this. If this can stay above the 200, if the 5200 can stay bullish, and if Q4 is bullish in general for crypto, which it's looking like it very well may be, then I like this thing to 1200, 1300. You know, it doesn't make much sense to me at those levels, but technicals don't hate it. Otherwise, if this is bearish, I like 50. You know, I like where this broke out. You know, things went just hyper ultra insane in January on BNB. Uh, I like 50, I like 35 previous all-time high, that sort of thing. Just absolute devastation Eiffel Tower. I wouldn't want to touch it until it's sub 100, certainly, if everything breaks down. On the cloud, this actually looks decent. It echoes my sideways thoughts on this is just trendless, right? It's above the cloud, below the cloud, above the cloud, below the cloud, TK cross all over the place. Currently, it's reaching for above the cloud with a bullish TK cross. So if that happens, then that should feed into this uh, triangle narrative uh, and give you a nice trend push for bullish continuation. BNB BTC, on the other hand, looks ready for lows to me. Uh, it's breaking below the 200 day moving average in the red there. My scale screwed up again, but probably 01 is a good psychological level. This does look like a descending triangle as well. You're getting lower highs on flat horizontal support here. Eventually, these usually break down. Not a lot of support until probably 05 or whatever this is. Based on volume, the previous all-time high. So this looks significantly less bullish to me. This tells me BTC's the way to go here. Uh, RSI, not quite uh, bull div yet either. Not quite an oversold. So I think this could go, uh, go much lower on the BTC side of things. And the BTC ETH chart looks very, very messy on the daily. 5200 death cross. Originally, I would called this as a head and shoulders a couple of weeks or months ago. It kind of broke down, kind of didn't, kind of went all over this horizontal. There's tons of volume levels on the way down. Um, I don't know what this is trying to do, but it's certainly not trying to be bullish. Maybe you could argue a diamond bottom. I, I don't know. Trend-wise, it's definitely not bullish. And if this breaks 0.1, I like 0.05. You know, just basic psychological levels until you see a trend here that's obvious. I just don't think being bullish against um, ETH is a good thing in Q4, especially against uh, BTC. I mean, this thing looks ready to rip down to the core over the next couple of months. 
Lastly, I'll just mention the ETH BTC fund and DeFi portfolio. I trade for Techme Capital and Enzyme.Finance, a non-custodial portfolio management tool where you can send ETH or USDC, or just watch what I'm doing. You can see everything, including AUM performance, allocation, all the vaults and interest bearing vehicles I'm in and whatnot here on Comp, Yearn and Ave, as well as the trades I make in the trades tab down below. That's all for this one. Like, dislike, comment, share, subscribe, and happy trading.